This is a Tallahassee update from the Florida Retail Federation. It is the last day of session here at Tallahassee, and we're very, very happy to share with the members that we passed landmark legislation regarding slip and fall. Uh, we had wonderful sponsors in the House, uh, Representative Gary Abishan, and in the Senate, Senator Gardner, that were staunch uh, defenders and staunch advocates for this legislation. We have been advocating for this legislation for five years, and we're really pleased to see this legislation pass in the 2010 session. We anticipate that it will have a real positive effect on the bottom line for our retailers in the state of Florida. Hi, this is Sally West coming to you from the Capitol Building in Tallahassee. I'm on the fifth floor right outside of the House of Representatives Gallery. As I'm filming this, the House is debating the 2010-2011 fiscal year budget. And that's what I want to talk to you about. This year, our pharmacies, the chain pharmacies, got very lucky. We were one of the only Medicaid providers that did not receive a cut in our Medicaid reimbursement rates. So our reimbursement rate is the exact same as it was last year. AWP minus 16.4 or WAC plus 4.75. Same dispensing fee. So we made out really good in this budget where um, they were talking some serious cuts of about $4 billion. So uh, we're really proud of the work that we did to keep your budget reimbursement whole. So to our chain pharmacies, you escaped without any budget cuts this year. And for that, we would sincerely like to thank Representative David Rivera and Senator J.D. Alexander, who did some heavy pulling to make sure that we stayed whole. Thank you. One of the bigger issues that I worked on this session was a stolen credit card bill. It started out initially as a bill to increase penalties on the theft of credit cards. And our interest in it, of course, was the credit cards aspect of it. But we also added language in there that would hold retailers harmless if they mistakenly took or processed a stolen credit card. However, over the session, it picked up an amendment that would have prohibited surcharges on debit cards which as most retailers know is a big issue at the national level, there are federal investigations, lawsuits, that sort of stuff going on. So late in the session, on a bill that we generally liked, we ended up having to fight the credit card companies, the banks, and the credit unions to, to keep the bill from being passed. Uh, for four days, the bill was on special order in the Senate, which is the list of bills they could take up on the floor at any time, and it actually came up on the floor, but was never discussed fully or never voted on. And at the end of the session, we were successful in defeating that, that bad language. We are pleased to announce that we will once again, our lobbying efforts have paid off for the 2010 session, and that we were successful in passing a back-to-school sales tax holiday uh, through the uh, Florida Senate, which means it's been sent right on to the governor. The, it's a three-day holiday on clothes and books up to $50 and school supplies up to 10 We would like to take this opportunity to thank Senator Mike Fasano for all his hard work on getting it uh, across the finish line and Representative David Rivera and Anna Terry Flores for their hard work in the House. It's been a great year for the Florida Retail Federation and for retailers across Florida. Uh, starting off the first session, the first part of session with unemployment comp reform and slip and fall to uh, pharmacy issues and the recycling bill. It's been a great year and uh, Team Retail has been there leading the charge the whole way. So they've represented uh, the members, both large and small, very well and we should all be very proud of them. It couldn't have been done without the, a big team effort of the Florida Retail team as well as the various legislators that helped us with this effort. Thank you very much. All in all, it's a very good session for retailers, one of the best we've ever had. If you need more information, please go to our website where we'll be posting updates as bills are sent to the governor and for his action to be either signed, come law without his signature, or vetoed. Thank you so much for all of your support and all of the members that provided information and helped us in this fight. It was hard fought and we're very pleased about the victory.